I'm going to walk you through a scenario to understand this update. And this scenario is we have Cubable Apex. And from Cubable Apex, we are trying to make a call out to the external platform. And the external platform in this scenario is going to be AWS. So from Cubable Apex, we are trying to make a call out to AWS. And for some reason, if the call out fails, what is the mechanism that we have in place such that this queuable job will be re-enqueued? As of now, we don't have any out of the box solution for that. We have to deal with it manually. And what I mean by that is, once after the call is made, we need to get the job ID. From the job ID, we need to get the status. If it is failed, then we need to re-enqueue it. That is how we have to sort this out. And in Spring 21, Salesforce team has provided us a handy interface called Finalizer. Using this interface, we can make sure that we try to invoke any business logic from Cubable Apex and for some reason it fails, then we can re-enqueue it automatically. As an example, we are trying to make a callout from Cubable Apex to external platform. For some reason, the callout is failed, then automatically with the help of Finalizer, we can make sure that this queuable job of trying to make the callout to AWS is re-enqueued. And there is also a governor limit here. We cannot re-enqueue a job for more than five times. Now let me walk you through the code. Let me go back to the developer console and let me go back to this Cubable Apex class. There you go. This is the name of the class and this class is implementing Cubable, which means this class here is going to have a method called execute because this here is an interface. Whenever we try to implement an interface, the methods within the interface has to be overridden, which is going to be execute in our case. And hence we have execute here. Now this is pretty much straightforward as long as you're aware of what exactly is Cubable Apex. From Cubable Apex, what we are trying to do is we are trying to invoke another Apex class, which is going to be this. Now, this is the name of the Apex class, which is trying to implement Finalizer. Now, Finalizer is an interface which is going to have a single method within it, which is going to be execute. And hence, we have to override that execute method in our class. And if you try to understand the business logic in this execute method, this execute method is going to accept one parameter, which is going to be of type Finalizer context. And Finalizer context is going to have four methods within it, which is get request ID, get async apex job ID, get result, get exception. So we have the queuable apex here. Assume that we are trying to invoke this right from this controller here. From this controller, we are trying to invoke queuable apex. And from queuable apex, we are trying to invoke finalizer. And along with that, we also have some business logic. And if this business logic fails, then using finalizer, we can make sure that this job here is re enqueued at the max for five times. Now let me go back to this finalizer class and let us try to understand the business logic in this execute method. We are trying to get the request ID. We are trying to get async apex job ID. This is only for you to understand how we can make use of these four methods. Towards the end, we have something called get result. Now get result is going to give us the parent job result. I'm trying to compare that with some string. If it is successful, then we don't have to do anything. The result of the parent job, if it is not successful, then it is going to get into else and here we can write the logic to re-enqueue the job which is going to be sample async job now please make sure we also take care of the logic to implement a counter and make sure this doesn't get invoked for more than five times now this feature also is in pilot which means i cannot whip up a new pre-release org and i cannot demo that we need to get in touch with the support team or your ae and we need to get this feature enabled but i think you get the point if you ask me one such place where I can think of using this a lot, I would say I'll be using this whenever I try to make a callout because as of now, whenever we try to make a callout to external platform, if it fails, we have to manually check the status and then we'll have to re-enqueue it. Now we don't have to do it. We can just make use of finalizer and this is going to save you a lot of time. That's all for this episode. See you in the next one.